Hi guys, Heather here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a program called Autocrat, which is basically the Google equivalent of Mail Merge for Microsoft. In order for Autocrat to run, we need um, a Google Sheet. Autocrat runs from Google Sheets, and then we also need a template. Now, for our purpose, we're going to use a Google Doc for that template. Just so you guys know, it could be Google Slides. There's lots of different things you can use for templates. But for what I'm going to show you, we're going to use a Google Doc. So to get your spreadsheet, I suggest you go to the Shared Drive Engagement Points COVID-19, the one that Mr. White shared with the faculty. Find your spreadsheet and make a copy. Please make a copy so that we don't mess up the one that principals need. So here's an example of that spreadsheet. So obviously I don't have classes of students, so I had to make one. Um, so I copied somebody's spreadsheet and kind of changed some things. Um, so here's my spreadsheet. I also suggest you go to your drive and create a folder where you're gonna drop these letters that we're sending to students. I have a folder that I called Autocrat Demo Folder, name it whatever you want, but I suggest you make this folder as your next step. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet. Um, I added two columns to this spreadsheet. This column, the first name column, that's kind of optional. The reason why I added that is because since I'm writing these letters to students, I don't want it to say, hello, all good, comma, Jaden Kelton. I want it to sound a little bit more personable. So that's why I added that column, and I just typed in the students' first names there. Then I added this column, a column to put student email addresses. This is a must in order for the program to work the way we want it to work. Now, you might have a place where you go to find student emails. There's lots of different places. You can get it from Google Classroom. You can get it from eSchool, and you can get it from Student Lookup. Up to you, of course, where you grab those emails. Filling out this column is, I'll be honest, that's what's going to take you the most time. So that is a little bit of a downside. Um, but I think the time that you're going to spend in doing that is not, it's, it's, you're still going to save time in this process if you're sending e these emails to all of your students. You're going to notice in the email column is just my email. I don't want to be sending these students these fictitious emails that would be confusing. So I've been sending them to myself as I've been practicing. You can do that too. If you want to do a practice run where you send it to yourself, that wouldn't hurt. Okay, so now that we've looked at the spreadsheet, I want to show you the template. I've created this template um, that I've shared with you guys, so you're welcome to use it exactly as it is. Of course, change the teacher name here to your name. But what you're going to see are these little weird chunks of the template, and those are called tags. What's inside these arrows we want to match exactly with the column header. Now, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't match exactly. There's going to be a step in the Autocrat program where we can fix that if we need to. But make note of how you've named your email column. That, just keep write that down on a sticky note or whatever, um, because when I practiced this earlier, I did it where I typed a lowercase e and it didn't run. So case matters when you're typing these tags. This template I've created so that you can reuse this template however many times you want to send these emails to students. So where I'm pulling the information here, the final total points for engagement, it's being pulled from this column. So as you add points, you know, say you want to send an email again and you run it again, then it's going to pull from this column. Okay, and then it's pulling the grade from this column because notice when I um, when I was playing with it earlier, it was pulling from this column. We don't want to tell a kid that they've got 103%. So I'm pulling it from this column. The nice thing is though, is since I've set up the template, use it as you want to. Just um, you know, tweak the 
the content of the letter to be what you want it to say. All right, so we are set up and ready to go. We have our spreadsheet ready. We have our Google template ready. Now we're ready to run AutoCRAT. Many of you, especially if you're watching this video, you probably don't have the AutoCRAT add-on to your Google Sheets. It's not gonna take but a few seconds, but we go to Get Add-ons. And if it's not in that first row, just type in the search bar AutoCRAT and install it. Once you have it installed, it'll be in this Add-ons tab. So we go to AutoCRAT and Launch. Now, when you open this, it's going to have a little bit different window to begin. It's going to have a little red button down in the right hand corner that says new job or create new job. So this was a practice run that I did earlier. So I'm going to actually kind of ignore that. I'm going to create a new job and I'm going to call this engagement points email. And that's just for you whenever you come back to the spreadsheet and you run another autocrat you you know you're going to see this old job okay so in this next window this is where we're going to pull that google doc email template so since i've already been doing this the template is in my recently used templates but for you guys you're going to want to go from drive and if you were tweaking it at all, um, then it should be in this top couple of documents. But for some reason, if you can't find it, just type the name of the file in the search bar. Once you find it, click on the file, and then select. So there's my, there's my template. It's pulling this Google Doc. Then on the next screen, this is where we're going to join the spreadsheet to the tags in the Google Doc. So this spreadsheet only has one tab. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that these tags map to the column header in the spreadsheet. Now this is where I said we can fix things if things don't match exactly. All right, so you're going to notice final total points for engagement. The reason why it didn't match is because I typed a capital F when in the call in the spreadsheet it's a lowercase f. But fix that. And then let's fix this one. All right. So now everything is matched as I want it to be. So I'm going to click next. Now the file name, this is what um, students are going to see. So I'm going to do something like this. Engagement points as of 424 and then I'm going to grab a tag. I'm going to put in a tag. So if this was like sent to me, it'd be say engagement points as a 424 for Heather. I also want it to create a PDF because we're not wanting students to really interact with the document. PDF just makes sense. It honestly doesn't matter. Whichever one you want to do is fine. All right, so we have our file name. Next, this is where we're going to drop the letters into our drive. Now, I don't want it to just be all loosey-goosey in my drive. I want to put it in that AutoCRAT demo folder that I showed you earlier. So it didn't show up here, so I'm just going to type it. Type AutoCRAT, because that's what I called that folder. So you're just going to want to type in the search bar whatever you called that folder that you created. All right, so there we go. It's going to drop all those letters into that folder. Now, I don't do anything with this next one. I actually don't even know what it does. Okay, I also don't do anything with this one. This is for if you were using AutoCRAT, say, for a Google form. But that's not the purpose of this video. On this window, we are going to do something. So, yes, we're going to share the document with students. We're going to share it as a PDF. You can do, doesn't really matter here whether you want them to be able to reshare or not. Now, in this two here, you're going to need to put in or pull the email addresses from the spreadsheet. Now, remember, my, the title of my column was email with a capital E. 
So I put that in. And in the subject, I'm going to do something like first name. Here are your engagement points. And then in the message, I'm going to do something like hi. Click on the attachment to see how many engagement points. Type. Ah, you have earned currently, or up, I don't know. I'm just going to start. Okay. I'm just going to click over. Okay. So whatever email you want it to, to say, whatever you want the body of the email to say, that's where you type. And um, don't do anything with this last one. So just click save. Might take a few seconds depending on your computer. All right, so remember, this is the one that we ran. Now when I click play, this is gonna take a little while. So I would suggest do this or click play um, when you can kind of step away from your computer and let it run for a while. Because probably many of you have over 100 emails that are gonna be sent, and that's gonna take some time. Now at school, it would only take a couple of minutes, so it just depends on your internet speed. Okay, so click play whenever you're ready to let it run. All right, so Autocrat is finished running for me, and so I'm gonna close this window. And just so you guys know, what it does is it adds these columns where it puts links to the Google Doc um, you don't really need to do anything with this stuff over there. But I wanted to show you what it will send to the students now that I have run it. So here's my email. So <laughs> I've done this a couple of times today. Um, so let's take a look. So here is what the student got. So it pulled in the student's name, the points, and then the IPR grade and the final grade. And then obviously I didn't change the teacher name here. So that stayed there. And then it pulled in the course of basket weaving. So, and then also um, notice it has the email that we typed or that I typed. So that's what it's gonna look like to students when they get it. So hopefully, this works for you guys. Um, sometimes there's a little bit of troubleshooting that you have to do. If you end up trying to do this and you run into some problems, I'm happy to help you. Uh, Fern, Vote, and Lori Clark would also be able to help you. But like I said, getting this column, the email column, is probably going to be the biggest time spender in this process. But once you have it set up, Say now I want to do another one. All you would do after you um, say you've got points to record for block two, you would just have to update your spreadsheet, make sure that the, you know, both column L and column M are updated, and then you just run the program again. And it will send a new email to them. So kind of cool.